Chapter Forty of Jerusalem to Revelations, a quartet of spiritual experience, by William Blake and others. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Tony Addison. The Chapters of Coming Forth by Day, Chapter One Hundred and Fifty Three B. From the Papyrus of Nu. Vignette, a net full of fish, being drawn together by three dog-headed apes. Text, the chapter of coming forth from the capture of the fish. The Osiris Nu, the overseer of the palace, the chancellor in chief, triumphant, saith, "Hail, ye who lay snares, and ye who work the nets." and ye who are fishers hail ye who have given birth to your own fathers know ye that i know the name of the great and mighty net and ket that is clincher is its name know ye that i know the name of its cordage rut that is vigour of isis is its name know ye that i know the name of the mehese thigh of tem is its name know ye that I know the name of its pole with curved ends. Finger of Nebu is its name. Know ye that I know the name of its table. Hook of Ptah is its name. Know ye that I know the name of its slaughtering knife. Chopper of Isis is its name. Know ye that I know the name of its weights. Iron in heaven is their name. Know ye that I know the name of its rushes. Feathers, or hair, of the hawk is their name. Know ye that I know the name of the fishers. Ape is their name. Know ye that I know the name of the thigh. Thigh, whereon standeth the temple of the moon, is its name. Know ye that I know the name of the fowler. Prince. Mighty One, who sitteth on the eastern side of heaven, is his name. I have not eaten, O great divine one. Behold, the great divine one hath given me drink. I have not seated myself upon my thighs in the waters, but I eat, and I satisfy myself with food before him. The seeds of death are in my body. I am neck, I am Ra, coming forth from Nu, the divine soul of the god i create the god who and wrong is the thing which i abominate i am osiris the maker of mart whereon ra doth live each and every day i am invoked by the name of bull and i am addressed among the company of the gods by the name of neck i create mine own self along with nu in my name of Kepara, whereby I create myself each and every day. I am the god of divine splendour, and I rise up as Ra, the lord of the east. Life is given unto me through his comings forth therefrom. I have come into heaven, and I embrace my seat, which is in the east, with the children of the princes who dwell in their fields and I have delivered her that brought me forth in peace. I eat like the god's shoe. I satisfy myself with food like the god's shoe. I ease myself like the god's shoe. The divine kings of the north and south are with me. The god Kensu is with me, and those who bind up their heads are with me. Embrace ye them, the flame in the land of the multitude. Chapter 154 From the Papyrus of Nu Vignette This chapter has no vignette in the Theban recension. In the Sa'it recension, the mummy of the deceased is seen lying upon a bier, with the sun shining upon it. Text The Chapter of Not Letting the Body Perish the Osiris Nu, the overseer of the palace, 
the Chancellor-in-Chief triumphant, saith, Homage to thee, O my divine father Osiris, I came to embalm thee, do thou embalm these my members, for I would not perish and come to an end, but would be even like unto my divine father Kepara, the divine type of him that never saw corruption. Come then, make strong my breath then, O Lord of the winds, who dost magnify those divine beings who are like unto himself. Establish me doubly then, and fashion me strongly, O Lord of the funeral chest. Grant thou that I may enter into the land of everlastingness, according to that which was done for thee, along with thy father Tem, whose body never saw corruption, and who is the being who never saw corruption. I have never done that which thou hatest, nay, I have cried out among those who love thy car. Let not my body become worms, but deliver me as thou didst thyself. I pray thee, let me not fall into rottenness, even as thou dost permit every god, and every goddess, and every animal, and every reptile to see corruption, when the soul hath gone forth from them after their death. And when the soul departeth, or perisheth, a man seeth corruption, and the bones of his body rot, and become holy stinkingness. The members decay piecemeal, the bones crumble into a helpless mess, and the flesh becometh fetid liquid, and he becometh a brother unto the decay which cometh upon him, and he turneth into multitudes of worms, and he becometh altogether worms, and an end is made of him, and he perisheth in the sight of the god Shu, even as doth every god, and every goddess, and every feathered fowl, and every fish, and every creeping thing, and every reptile, and every animal, and every thing whatsoever. Therefore shall they fall on their bellies when they recognize me, and behold, the fear of me shall terrify them. And thus likewise shall it be with every being after death, whether it be animal, or bird, or fish, or worm, or reptile. Let life come from its death, and let not decay caused by any reptile make an end of me, and let them not come against me in their various forms. Do not thou give me over unto that slaughterer who dwelleth in his torture-chamber, who killeth the members, and maketh them rot, being himself hidden, who worketh destruction upon many dead bodies, and liveth by slaughter. Let me live, and perform his message, and let me do that which is commanded by him. Give me not over unto his fingers, let him not gain the mastery over me, for I am under thy command, O Lord of the gods. Homage to thee, O my divine father Osiris, thou hast thy being with thy members. Thou didst not decay, thou didst not become worms, thou didst not diminish, thou didst not become corruption, thou didst not putrefy, and thou didst not turn into worms. I am the god Kepara, and my members shall have an everlasting existence. I shall not decay, I shall not rot, I shall not putrefy, I shall not turn into worms, and I shall not see corruption before the eye of the god Shu. I shall have my being, I shall have my being, I shall live, I shall live, I shall germinate, I shall germinate, I shall germinate, I shall wake up in peace, I shall not putrefy, my intestines shall not perish, I shall not suffer injury, mine eye shall not decay, the form of my visage shall not disappear, mine ear shall not become deaf, my head shall not be separated from my neck, my tongue shall not be carried away, my hair shall not be cut off, mine eyebrows shall not be shaved off, and no baleful injury shall come upon me, my body shall be established, and it shall neither fall into ruin, nor be destroyed on this earth. Chapter 155 From the Papyrus of Nu Text The Chapter of a Tet of Gold The Osiris Nu, the Overseer of the Palace, the Chancellor-in-Chief, saith, Rise up thou, O Osiris, Thou hast thy backbone, O still heart, 
thou hast the ligatures of thy neck and back o still heart place thou thyself upon thy base i put water beneath thee and i bring unto thee a tet of gold that thou mayest rejoice therein rubric this chapter shall be recited over a tet of gold set in a plinth of sycamore wood which hath been steeped in water of ankum flowers and it shall be placed at the neck of the deceased on the day of the funeral if this amulet be placed at his neck he shall become a perfect coup in the underworld and at the new year festivals he shall be like those who are in the following of osiris continually and for ever chapter one hundred and fifty six from the papyrus of nu vignette a buckle text the chapter of a buckle of carnelian the osiris nu the overseer of the palace the chancellor in chief saith may the blood of isis and the powers of isis and the enchantments of isis be powers to protect this mighty one and to guard him from him that would do unto him anything which he abominateth Rubric this chapter shall be said over a buckle of carnelium which hath been steeped in water of ankum flowers and set in a plinth of sycamore wood and it shall be placed at the neck of the deceased on the day of the funeral if these things be done for him the powers of isis shall protect his limbs and horus the son of isis shall rejoice in him when he seeth him and there shall be no hidden places on his path and one hand shall be towards heaven and one hand shall be towards earth regularly and continually thou shalt not let any person who is with thee see it chapter one hundred and fifty seven from lepsius doten book vignette a vulture with outstretched wings holding the symbol of life in each talon Tech. the chapter of the vulture of gold which is to be placed at the neck of the deceased the osiris alf ang triumphant saith isis cometh and hovereth over the city and she goeth about seeking the secret habitations of horus as he emergeth from his papyrus swamps and she lifteth up his shoulder which is in evil case he is made one of the company in the divine boat and the sovereignty of the whole world is decreed for him he hath warred mightily and he maketh these deeds to be remembered he hath made fear of him to exist and awe of him to have its being his mother the mighty lady protecteth him, and she hath transferred her power to Horus. Rubric This chapter shall be said over a vulture of gold, whereupon it hath been inscribed, and thou shalt place the vulture on the neck to protect the perfect deceased one on the day of the funeral continually and regularly. Chapter 158 from lepsius toten book vignette a collar text the chapter of a collar of gold which shall be placed at the neck of the deceased the osiris alf ank triumphant saith o my father my brother my mother isis i am unswathed and i see i am one of those who are unswathed and who see the god sab rubric this chapter shall be said over a collar of gold whereon it hath been engraved and the collar shall be placed on the neck of the deceased on the day of the funeral chapter one hundred and fifty nine from lepsius toten book vignette the uach amulet Text the chapter of the uach amulet 
made of mother of emerald, which shall be placed at the neck of the deceased. The Osiris Alp Ankh Triumphant saith, Hail, thou who comest forth daily from the temple of the god. The mighty lady speaketh, and she goeth round about in the gate of the double house and she taketh possession of the might of her father, that is to say, the Sahu, who is the bull of the goddess Renanet. She taketh those who are in her following, and she maketh an opportunity for those, the opportunity of the door. Rubric This chapter shall be said over an uach of Mother of Emerald, whereupon it hath been inscribed, and the uach shall be placed on the neck of the deceased. Chapter 160 From the Papyrus of Nebsene Vignette Thoth, the great god, giving an uach amulet of mother of emerald to the deceased. Text The chapter of giving an uach of mother of emerald to the scribe Nebsene triumphant, who saith, I am the uach of mother of emerald, which cannot be injured, and which the hand of Thoth adoreth. Injury is a thing which I abominate. It is in sound state, and I am in sound state. It is not injured, and I am not injured. It is not worn away, and I am not worn away. The words of Thoth are at thy back, O thou who comest in peace, O divine prince of Anu Heliopolis, thou mighty god who dwellest in the city of Pei. The god Shu advanceth to him, and findeth him in the city of Shenmu, in his name Neshem, that is, mother of emerald. He maketh his place in the fortress of the mighty God. The God Tem resteth upon his eye, and his members shall not suffer injury. Chapter 161 From the Papyrus of Nefer Uben F. Vignette The God Thoth opening the doors of the four winds. Text the chapter of forcing an entrance into heaven. This Thoth doeth to make felicitous the way for him that would enter into the disc. 1. To the door of the west wind. Ra liveth, the tortoise dieth. Pure is the body in the earth, and pure are the bones of Osiris, the arm Kent, Nefer Uben F. Triumphant. 2. To the door of the east wind. Ra liveth, the tortoise dieth. Sound is he who is in the chest, who is in the chest. Osiris, Nefer Uben F. Triumphant. 3. To the door of the north wind. Ra liveth, the tortoise dieth. The Osiris, Nefer Uben F. Triumphant, is strong in his members. Keb Senef guardeth them. 4. To the door of the south wind. Ra liveth, the tortoise dieth. The bolts are drawn, and they pass through his foundation. Rubric Every Sahu, for whom these divine figures have been painted upon his coffin, shall make his way through these four entrances into heaven. That of the north wind belongeth to Osiris, that of the south wind to Ra that of the west wind to Isis, and that of the east wind to Nephthys. Each one of these winds shall breathe into his nostrils as he entereth in his daily course. Let none who is outside know this chapter. It is a great mystery, and those who dwell in the swamps, that is, the ignorant, know it not. Thou shalt not do this, in the presence of any person except thy father, or thy son, or thyself alone, for it is indeed an exceedingly great mystery which no man whatever knoweth. Chapter 157 
from Alexius, a token book. Vignette, a cow, having the disc with plumes between her horns, and wearing the collar, from which is suspended the emblem of life round her neck. Text, the chapter of making heat to be under the head of the deceased, to be recited. Homage to thee, O thou god Pa, thou mighty one, whose plumes are lofty, thou lord of the Ururet crown, who rulest with the whip. Thou art the lord of the phallus, thou growest as thou shinest with rays of light, and thy shining is to the uttermost parts of earth and sky. Thou art the lord of transformations, and hast manifold skins, which thou hidest in the Uchat at its birth. Thou art the mighty one of names among the gods, the mighty runner who strides on mighty. Thou art the god, the mighty one, who comest and rescuest the needy one and the afflicted from him that oppresseth him. Give heed to my cry. I am the cow, and thy divine name is in my mouth, and I will utter it. Haka, haka her, is thy name. Aura, aura. Karasank Rehbati is thy name. Ker Sarau is thy name. Ka Satha is thy name. I praise thy name. I am the cow that hearkeneth unto the petition on the day wherein thou placest heat under the head of Ra. O place it for him in the divine gate in Anu Heliopolis, and thou shalt make him to become even like him that is upon the earth. He is thy soul. O oh, be gracious unto Osiris Alp Ankh triumphant, and cause thou heat to exist under his head, for indeed he is the soul of the great divine body which resteth in Anu. Ku Kepe Oru is his name. Bari Ka Thachara is his name. Be gracious then, and grant that he may become like unto one of those who are in thy following, for he is even as art thou. Rubric This chapter shall be recited over the image of a cow, which shall be made in fine gold, and placed at the neck of the deceased, and it shall be written upon new papyrus, and placed under his head. Then shall abundant warmth be in him throughout, even like that which was in him, when he was upon earth. This hath exceedingly great protective power, for it was made by the cow for her son Ra, when he was setting, and when his habitation was surrounded by a company of beings of fire. And the deceased shall become divine in the underworld, and he shall never be turned back at any of the gates thereof. And thou shalt say, when thou placest the image of this goddess at the neck of the deceased, o oh, amen o oh, amen who art in heaven turn thy face upon the dead body of thy son and make him sound and strong in the underworld this is a composition of exceedingly great mystery let not the eye of any man whatsoever see it for it is an abominable thing for every man to know it therefore hide it book of the mistress of the hidden temple is its name. Here endeth the book. End of chapter 40。Chapter 41 of Jerusalem to Revelations A Quartet of Spiritual Experience by William Blake and others. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Tony Addison. The Chapters of Coming Forth by Day. Chapter 163. From Lepsius, Totenbuch. Vignette. Two winged uchats on legs, and a serpent also upon legs, with a disc and horns upon his head. Text. The chapters which are taken from another work, and are here added to the book of Coming Forth by Day. 
the chapter of not allowing the body of a man to mould away in the underworld, and of delivering him from those who devour the souls that are shut in the underworld, and of not allowing to rise up against him the things which he abominated upon earth, and of making sound and strong his limbs and bones against worms and against every god who would attack him in the underworld, and of causing him to come forth and to go in as he pleaseth, and to do whatsoever he hath in his heart to do without hindrance. The Osiris, Auf, and Triumphant Sayer I am the divine soul of the great divine body, which is laid to rest in Atabu, which protecteth the body of Harithi, the which resteth in the marshes of sen Hakaraha. O divine soul, which hath no languor of heart, either in rising or setting, and which resteth within his divine body, which is laid to rest in sen Haparakana, grant thou to Osiris, Alf and triumphant, that he may deliver himself from the souls of the god of the savage race, who gaineth the mastery over hearts, and taketh possession of limbs, and from whose mouths fire cometh forth to devour souls. Hail, thou who art lying prostrate within thy body, whose flame cometh into being from out of the fire which blazeth within the sea or water, in such wise that the sea or water is raised up on high out of the fire thereof. Grant thou that the flame may leave the fire, wherever it may be, to raise up the hand of Osiris Alf and Triumphant, and to make him to have an existence for ever and for ever. Verily, let his period of existence be as the period of existence of heaven in the limitless boundaries thereof. Heaven holdeth thy soul, O Osiris of Ankh, and earth holdeth thy form. O deliver thou, Osiris of Ankh, triumphant, and let him not be consumed by the cowie, who devour the souls of those who have raised up evil. Let his soul have its being within his body, and let his body have its being with his soul, and let him be hidden within the pupil of the Uchat of the god, whose name is Sharai, Sharai, Shapu Neta Arikar, who reposeth at the north-west of the brow of the apt of the land of Kensat, Nubia, and journeyeth not to the east, Hail, God, Amen, thou divine bull scarab, thou lord of the divine Uchets, God, the pupil of whose eye is terrible, is thy name, the Osiris of Ank triumphant, born of Sheret Amsu triumphant, is the emanation of thy two eyes, the name of one of which is Shari Shari Ket, and Shapu Neta Arika of the other, though Shaka, Amen, Shakanasa, at the brow of Tem, who illumineth the two lands, is his name in very truth. Grant that Osiris Alf Ankh triumphant may be of this land of Mart. Let him not be left in his solitude, for he is of this earth wherein he will no more appear, and An is his name. Or oh, let him be with a perfect coup, or, as others say, a strong coup, and let him be the soul of the mighty body which is in Sao, Sais, the city of Neith. Rubric This chapter is to be recited over a serpent having legs, and wearing a disc and two horns, and over two uchats, having both eyes and wings. In the pupil of one of the Uchats there shall be a figure of the god of the lifted hand, with the face of the divine soul, and having plumes, and a back like a hawk. And in the pupil of the other there shall be a figure of the god of the lifted hand, with the face of the goddess Neith, and having plumes, and a back like a hawk. And this chapter shall be written with ante, 
either upon a meh stone or upon mother of emerald of the south and dipped in water of the western lake of kemp egypt or upon a bandage of a watchet linen wherewith a man should swathe every limb and the deceased shall not be turned back at any gate of the underworld he shall eat and drink and ease himself even as he did when he was upon earth and none shall rise up to cry out against him and he shall be protected from the hands of the enemy for ever and ever if this book be recited for him upon earth he shall not be seized by the messengers of a Turk who work evil in all the earth he shall not have gashes inflicted upon him he shall not die through the slaughter of set and he shall not be carried off to any place of restraint whatsoever but he shall go in unto the kasbet and he shall come forth with triumph and he shall go out to terrify the evil-doers who exist in all the earth chapter one hundred and sixty four from lepsius token book vignette a goddess with a head of a woman and two heads of a vulture standing with outstretched wings on each side of her is a dwarf with two heads one of a man and one of a hawk each dwarf has a disc and plumes upon his head text another chapter homage to thee o seket pastora thou mistress of the gods thou bearer of wings lady of the heiress bandlet queen of the crowns of the south and of the north only one sovereign of her father superior to whom the gods cannot be thou mighty one of enchantments in the boat of millions of years thou who art pre-eminent who risest in the seat of silence mother of pasha kasa royal wife of pa ehaka keparu mistress and lady of the tomb mother in the horizon of heaven gracious one beloved destroyer of rebellion offerings are in thy grasp and thou art standing in the bows of the boat of thy divine father to overthrow the fiend thou hast placed mart in the bows of his boat thou art the fire goddess ami seshet whose opportunity escapeth her not thy name is kahariza puzaremkaka remet thou art like unto the mighty flame of sakanakat which is in the bows of the boat of thy father harepukeka shareshaibau for behold thus is the name uttered in the speech of the negroes and of the ante and of people of ta kensetet nubia praise be to thee o lady who art mightier than the gods and words of adoration rise to thee from the eight gods the living souls who are in their chests praise thy mystery o thou who art their mother thou source from whom they sprang who makest for them a place of repose in the hidden underworld who makest sound their bones and preservest them from terror who makest them strong in the abode of everlastingness who preservest them from the evil chamber of the souls of the god of the terrible face who is among the company of the gods baba that comest forth from the god of the terrible face who keepeth his body hidden is thy name atare am techa kemtu ramnu pa sheta is the name of one divine son pa nema is the name of the other uchat of seket mighty lady mistress of the gods is thy name emanation of is the name of mut who maketh soul strong and who maketh sound bodies and who delivereth them from the abode of the fiends which is in the evil chamber the goddess saith with her own mouth they shall never be fettered and i will do according to what ye say o ye tachawi of the divine son 
for whom they performed the funeral rites. Rubric. This chapter shall be recited over a figure of Mut, which hath three heads. The first shall be like unto that of Pekat, and shall have upon it plumes. The second shall be like unto that of a man, and shall have upon it the crowns of the south and north. And the third shall be like unto that of a vulture, and shall have upon it plumes, and the figure shall have a phallus, and a pair of wings, and the claws of a lion, and it shall be painted with ante and powder of hatch, mixed with yellow colour, upon a bandage of axes linen. In front of it shall stand one dwarf, and behind it another, and each shall have upon him plumes, and one hand and arm shall be raised, and each shall have two faces, one of a hawk and one of a man, and the body of each shall be fat. Then shall the deceased be divine, along with the gods in the underworld. He shall never, never be turned back. His flesh and his bones shall be like those of one who hath never been dead. He shall drink water at the source of the stream. A homestead shall be given unto him, in Seket Anre, he shall become a star of heaven. He shall set out against the serpent fiend Nehau, and against Tar, who are in the underworld. He shall not be shut in, along with the souls which are fettered. He shall deliver himself wherever he may be, and worms shall not devour him. Chapter 165 from Lepsius Toten Book. Vignette An Ithyphallic god with the body of a beetle. On his head are plumes, and his right hand and arm are raised. Behind him is a man who has a ram's head on each shoulder. Text The chapter of arriving in port To make the body germinate and to drink water and not to disappear. Recite the following. Hail, O Bekenu, Bekenu, O Prince, Prince, O Amen, Amen, O Rei Ukasa, O God, Prince of the Gods of the Eastern part of Heaven, O Amen, Nathakarethi, Amen, O Thou whose skin is hidden, whose form is secret, the Lord of the two horns of Nut, Thy name is Na'arik, or, as others say, Ka-Arika. Ka-Saika is thy name. Arathika Sathika is thy name. Amena Anka Entekshare, or, as others say, Thekshare Amen Karete is thy name. O Amen. Let me make supplication unto thee. I, even I, know thy name. Thy transformations are in my mouth. Thy skin is before my eyes. Come, I pray thee, and place thou thy air and thy image. Osiris, Auf, and triumphant, born of Sherat Amsu triumphant, in the everlasting underworld. Grant thou that all his members may repose in Nete Kertet, the underworld, or, as others say, in Akertet, the underworld. Let his whole body become like that of a god. Let him escape from the evil chamber, and let him not be imprisoned therein. I adore thy name. Thou hast made for me a skin, and thou hast comprehended my speech, and thou knowest it exceedingly well. Amen is thy name, O Ratsashaka, I have made for thee a skin, namely, a divine soul. Erakai is thy name, Makathai is thy name, Rerai is thy name, Nasakbubu is thy name, Tanasa Tanasa is thy name, Sharasha Takata is thy name, O Amen, O Amen, O oh God, O oh God, O oh Amen, I adore thy name. Grant thou to me 
that i may comprehend thee grant thou that i may have peace in the tuat underworld and may possess all my members therein and the divine soul which is in nut saith i will make my divine strength to protect thee and i will perform everything which thou hast said rubric this chapter shall be recited over a figure of the god of the lifted hand which shall have plumes upon its head the legs thereof shall be wide apart and the middle portion of it shall be in the form of a beetle and it shall be painted blue with lapis lazuli mixed with camai water and it shall be recited over a figure with a head like unto that of a man and the hands and arms thereof shall be stretched away from its body above its right shoulder shall there be the head of a ram and above its left shoulder shall there be the head of a ram and thou shalt paint upon a piece of linen a figure of the god of the lifted hand immediately over his heart and thou shalt paint the other figure over the breasts let not the god sukati who is in the underworld know it then shall the deceased drink water from the source of the stream and he shall shine like the stars in the heavens above chapter one hundred and sixty six from the papyrus of nebsene vignette a headrest text the chapter of the pillow thou art lifted up o sick one that liest prostrate o scribe nebsene they lift up thy head to the horizon thou art raised up and dost triumph by reason of what hath been done for thee Ptah hath overthrown thine enemies according to what was ordered to be done for thee thou art horus the son of hathor neset nesetet who giveth back the head after the slaughter thy head shall not be carried away from thee after the slaughter thy head shall never never be carried away from thee chapter one hundred and sixty seven from the papyrus of nebsene vignette an uchat resting upon the emblem of gold text the chapter of bringing the uchat nebsene the scribe saith the god thoth hath brought the uchat and he hath made it to rest or to be at peace after it departed o ra it was grievously afflicted by storm but thoth made it to be at rest after it had departed from the storm i am sound and it is sound i am sound and it is sound and nebsene the lord of piety is sound chapter one hundred and sixty eight from the papyrus of mut hetep vignette a stream upon which sail three boats the first contains Kanemu, the second Kepara, and the third Ra. Each god is seated in a shrine. Harpocrates occupies the place of lookout in the boats of Kanem and Ra. Behind the boats, Ra is seated on a throne which rests on the water. Two hands and arms stretch down from heaven and enshrine him a man-headed sphinx on a beard, a god with a serpent on his head, two gods lying on beers with a serpent between, Anubis, a goddess seated, a bull on a pedestal, a man-headed lion, two gods and two goddesses, a bowed human figure and a mummy, a man holding a disc, a disc shedding light, two women lying face downwards two male figures each carrying a human being on his head text the twenty-seven short lines of text which accompany this vignette 
consist of extracts from a version of the chapter which is given in full immediately following, and to this the reader is referred. Chapter 168 From the Papyrus Section 1 1 Text May they who carry the burden above them to heaven in front of the boat of Ra grant that, O Zyrus, I may see Ra when he shineth. Vignette A god carrying a child upon his shoulders, and the number four. Text and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by Osiris, the lord of offerings in Amentet, in the bite of Sekhet Hetep. 2. Text. May they who carry the burden above them to heaven in front of the boat of Ra grant that Osiris may see Ra when he shineth. Vignette, a god carrying a child upon his shoulders. Text, and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by Osiris, the follower of the great god, the lord of the beautiful Amentet. Three. Text, may they who smite Ra grant that cake shall come unto Osiris, as to the followers of Ra when he setteth. Vignette A woman lying face downwards. Text And there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by Osiris, when Horus, the lord of Tehent, cometh. Four text. May they who possess offerings grant that Osiris shall exist even as do those who are in the underworld. Vignette. A woman lying face downwards. Text. And there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by Osiris, who shall come forth and go in along with Ra for ever. 5. Text. May those who build up grant that Osiris shall arrive happily in the hall of double truth. Vignette. A woman lying face downwards. Text. And there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by Osiris, as lord of offerings in the beautiful Amentet. 6. Text. May those who make adorations grant that Osiris shall follow after Ra in his boat. Vignette. A god bowing to the ground. Text. And there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by Osiris, who shall walk with long strides with the gods of the underworld. 7. Text. May those who have offerings, and who make sacrificial meals for the gods, grant oblations of techafa food to Osiris, in the underworld. Vignette A god holding upright a conical object. Text And there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by Osiris, along with them whose soul shall stand up at the pylon. Section 2 the gods of the eighth quarat in the underworld, whose attributes are hidden, and who wins. 1. Text. 
may the gods who dwell in their shrines the princes of nu grant that osiris shall drink water vignette a god in a shrine with three serpents in front of him and three behind him at the entrance to the shrine is the number fourteen text and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by osiris may his soul live and his body be preserved in the underworld two text may the gods who are in the following of osiris grant that the body of osiris shall rest along with his sar vignette a woman and a god and the number fourteen text and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by osiris by the side of the great god within his boat three text may aha that is he who standeth make osiris to praise ra when he riseth vignette a god standing holding a sceptre text and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by osiris triumphant who shall be with those who are over their altars four text may amen that is the hidden one give power unto osiris in the hall of seb vignette a cow standing on a standard text and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by osiris triumphant who knoweth all the mysteries of the tuat five text may sheta that is the secret one make the body of osiris to grow and to be sound upon earth and in the underworld vignette a god standing upright text and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase by osiris as the lord of strides in the underworld and in Rasta. six may seta give cakes and ale to osiris along with you in the house of osiris vignette a god standing with a platform upon his head whereon is a bull text and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by osiris who hath entered into all the secret places of the tuat seven text me seshita ausa that is he who maketh osiris to be secret grant that osiris may be a lord of strides in the habitation of tchset vignette a god standing with a platform upon his head whereon is a bull text and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth when he becometh the lord of an abode in the underworld eight text may sharam not allow any evil thing to come to osiris in the underworld vignette a god standing upright text and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by osiris the soul that hearkeneth unto the words of the gods nine text may star that is the leader grant that osiris may see ra when he riseth and when he setteth vignette a bull upon a standard text 
and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by Osiris. May his limbs live, and may his limbs be sound for ever. 10. Text. May sank, that is, splendour, give glory to Osiris upon earth, and make him strong in Amentet. Vignette. A god standing upright. Text. And there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by Osiris. May his legs have power as the lord of an abode in Amentet. 11. Text. May he who liveth in darkness, that is, Horus, grant that Osiris shall be among those who are over their altars. Vignette a crocodile-headed god, standing upright. Text. And there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by Osiris, who is in the everlasting Tuat. Twelve. Text. May thee of Osiris grant that he shall be near the great god, the lord of Amentet. Vignette. A god standing upright, and the number four. Text. And there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by Osiris. May he become the lord of his hands, and have power over his heart in the underworld. 13. Text. May those whose hands hide Grant that Osiris shall be along with them in the underworld. Vignette, a god standing upright and hiding something with his hands. Text. And there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by Osiris. May they bring me to the throne of Osiris. 14. Text. May those whose hands hide grant that Osiris shall be sound, and that offerings shall be before him continually. Vignette, as in number thirteen. Text. And there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by Osiris, who shall be a lord of horns, and shall listen unto the words of the gods. 15. Text. May he whose limbs are hidden give right and truth to Osiris before Ra, and in the company of his gods. Vignette. A god standing upright. Text. And there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by Osiris, as lord of the phallus, and ravisher of women for ever. 16. Text. May the souls who come forth open the mouth of Osiris among the gods who are along with them. Vignette. A bird on a tree, and the number four. Text. And there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by Osiris, among the living ones, the lords of eternity. 17. Text. May those who belong to there grant that Osiris may have power over his offerings upon earth, even as have the gods, the lords of offerings. Vignette, a god standing upright, and the number four. Text, and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by Osiris, who shall be endowed abundantly with the Chifau food in the underworld. 18. Text, may those who receive grant that Osiris shall enter in over all the secret places of the Tuat. Vignette, a god bowing to the ground 
and a star. Text. And there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by Osiris, who shall have power over offerings upon earth, and be the lord of altars. 19. Text. May the Ananit, that is, widows, grant that Osiris shall be with the great god as possessor of a phallus before. Vignette. A woman kneeling on a couch. Text. And there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one bars upon earth by Osiris, who shall be ordered to dwell in the secret place in the darkness. 20. Text. May Osiris Anubis grant that Osiris may be a possessor of a seat in ta Tichesetet. Vignette. Anubis, holding a hawk-headed sceptre in each hand. Text. And there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by Osiris, who shall go in and pass through the pylon of Osiris. Section 3 The gods of the tenth karat in the Tuat, who are to be praised, and whose mysteries are holy. 1. Text. May those who are denizens of light Grant that Osiris shall shine in the darkness. Vignette. A god standing upright, and the number eight. Text. And there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by Osiris, who praiseth the great god in his abode day by day. Two. Text. May the smiters grant that Osiris may be among those who sing praises. Vignette. A god standing upright, holding in his upraised hand a hatchet dripping with blood. Text. And there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by Osiris, on the day when he repulseth the serpent being by the mighty one of iniquity. 3. Text. May the company of the gods, who guard those who are in the Tuat, give the breaths of life to Osiris upon earth and in the underworld. Vignette, a god lying on a bier, and the number nine. Text, and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by Osiris, who shooteth forth his hand, and repulseth him that cometh. Four. Text. May the company of the gods of the hidden hand give glory unto Osiris, as unto the perfect Khus. Vignette. A god standing upright and the number nine. Text. And there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by Osiris, who shall be sound upon earth and in the underworld. Five. May the hidden goddess grant that the soul of Osiris may grow, and that his body may be preserved, even as are those of the gods who dwell in the Tuat. Vignette. A woman standing before an Uchet. Text. And there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by Osiris, whose soul shall rest upon whatever seat he pleaseth. Sick. Text. May the souls of the gods who have come into being in the members of Osiris grant that he shall have peace. Vignette. A woman lying upon her back, and the number twenty-one. Text. And there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by Osiris, who shall receive his place in the land of the underworld. Seven. Text. May those who praise Ra not turn Osiris back at the pylons of the Tuat. Vignette. A god standing upright, and the number four. Text. And there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by Osiris, who shall come forth by day 
and shall refresh himself in the place of coolness. 8. Text. May the beings of warlike face grant coolness unto Osiris in the place of flame. Vignette. A woman standing upright, and the number four. Text. And there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by Osiris, who shall sit in the shrine with the great god. Section 4. The gods of the eleventh quereret of the Tuat. 1. Text. May the goddess Amemet grant that Osiris shall be strong before the great god in the Tuat. Vignette. A woman in a shrine. Text and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by Osiris, who shall become like the god Kepara in Amentet. 2. Text. May the soul of Ament grant sepulchral meals unto Osiris upon earth and in the underworld. Vignette. A god standing upright. Text. And there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by Osiris, the lord of the abode of peace in the mountain of the underworld. 3. Text. May the soul of the earth make Osiris to triumph over his enemies in heaven and upon earth. Vignette. A god standing upright with drooping hands and the number four. Text and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by Osiris, whose body shall be concealed from any that would look upon him. 4. Text. May those who sing praises grant that Osiris shall be like the divine mariners who are in heaven. Vignette. A man standing upright with his hands raised. Text. And there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by Osiris, when he entereth through the hidden pylons. 5. Text. May the company of the gods who rule over Anient grant that Osiris shall go in through the secret door of the house of Osiris. Vignette. A god lying upon a bier, and the number nine. Text. And there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by Osiris, who shall walk with long strides among the lords of the Tuat. 6. Text. May the company of the gods who are in the following of Osiris grant that Osiris shall have power over his enemies. Vignette. A god lying upon or by the side of a serpent on a bier. Text and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by Osiris, when he becometh a perfect soul day by day. 7. Text. May Akka grant that Osiris shall be with Ra, and that he shall walk over heaven for ever. Vignette. A god standing upright and holding a sceptre. Text. And there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by Osiris, when he is in the following of him that dwelleth in the city of embalmment, that is, Anubis, the lord of Tatiset. A. Text. May those who Osiris grant that the soul of Osiris may live, and that it may never die a second time. Vignette. A god standing upright, and the number four. Text. And there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by Osiris, for whom lamentation shall be decreed as for his god. Nine. Text. May the nine watchers grant that Osiris may wake up, and that he may never be destroyed. Vignette. Anubis on a standard, and the number nine. Text and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by Osiris, triumphant before Osiris, the lord of the land of the lake. 10. 
text may the nine mourners cause mourning to be made for osiris as was made for osiris vignette a woman lying on the ground face downwards text and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by osiris when his soul cometh forth with the coup eleven text may he that invoketh ra invoke osiris before ra and before the company of his gods vignette a god crying out to some one text and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by osiris when his soul goeth into the hidden place and cometh forth from earth twelve text may arken drive away every evil thing from osiris for ever vignette a god standing upright with hands hanging down text and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by osiris when he cometh in peace and hath triumphed thirteen text may those who dwell with teset grant that osiris may go in and come out with long strides like the lords of the tuat vignette a woman-headed serpent over a pylon text and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by osiris who shall go in and come forth through the door of the tuat fourteen text may the goddess teset grant that osiris may have power over the water vignette a god standing upright and the number four text and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by osiris when he shall walk up the great staircase fifteen text may mehenet grant that osiris may be a distinguished being in the tuat for ever vignette a serpent on a pylon text and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by osiris as a perfect soul in his shrine sixteen text may those who dwell with mehenet grant that osiris may walk with long strides in the holy place vignette a woman standing upright and the number four text and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by osiris when he is with the followers of horus seventeen text may the company of the gods who hide osiris grant that osiris shall sit upon the throne which he loveth vignette a seated god and the number nine text and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by osiris who shall be among the lords of mart eighteen text may he that destroyeth the face open the face of osiris and let him see the cool vignette a god standing upright text and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by osiris who shall be in the following of the goddess mehi of amentet section four the gods of the twelfth keraret in the tuat one text may mart grant that osiris may be a lord of the lake of marti vignette a god standing upright and holding a sceptre text and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by osiris as a lord of offerings in seket aru two text may the gods who dwell in the land of the tuat grant justice unto osiris in the hall of double truth vignette a god standing upright and holding a sceptre text 
and there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by Osiris, who shall plough in Seket Hetep. 3. Text. May the gods who dwell with Mehen grant that Osiris shall be in whatsoever place his car wisheth to be. Vignette. A god within the folds of a serpent. Text. And there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by Osiris, who shall come into being at the words of the Lord of Amentet. 4. Text. May the gods who possess land grant a lake unto Osiris in Seket Arnru. Vignette. A god standing upright, and the number four. Text. And there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by Osiris, who shall sit upon whatsoever place he would there. 5. Text. May Herta grant an estate unto Osiris in Sekateta. Vignette. A snake-headed god. Text. And there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by Osiris, who shall be protected by amulets like the lords of the Tuat. 6. Text. May the gods who dwell in the land grant offerings, and to chaff our food, and joints of meat to Osiris in the underworld. Vignette. A god standing upright, with arms hanging down, and the number four. Text. And there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by Osiris, when Ra setteth in Manu. 7. Text. May the chiefs of the secret things who dwell in the land place their wall behind Osiris, even as they do for the still heart. Vignette. A ram-headed sceptre. Text. And there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by Osiris, when he cometh forth and goeth into the underworld. 8. Text. May the gods who dwell in the folds of the serpent goddess Mehem grant a sight of the disc to Osiris. Vignette. A god within the folds of a serpent. Text. And there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by Osiris, as a coup who hath gained power over fresh water. 9. Text. May Anuba grant peace unto Osiris in Amentet. Vignette. A god bowing. Text. And there shall be made unto them an offering of a libation of one vase upon earth by Osiris, in coming out and going into Ament along with other folk therein. End of chapter 41「of Nefer Uben F. Vignette. This chapter is without a vignette. Text. The chapter of making to stand up the henkit. The arm kent. Osiris Nefer Uben F. Triumphant said. Thou art the lion god. Thou art the double lion god. Thou art Horus, the avenger of his father Osiris. 
thou art four, the four glorious gods. Acclamation is made unto thee, along with cries of delight and sounds of joy, and the water from their haunches and from their thighs I bring unto thee. Thou art lifted up on thy right side, and thou art lifted up on thy left side. The god Seb hath opened for thee thy two eyes which were blind, and he hath given thee the power to stretch out thy legs in walking. Hath been bound unto thee thy heart, hat, thy mother and thy heart, hat, is in thy body. Thy soul is in heaven, and thy body is under the ground. There are cakes for thy body, and water for thy throat, and sweet breezes for thy nostrils, and thou art satisfied with offerings. Those who dwell in their shrines open their abodes unto thee. Thou hast thy provisions, and thou journeyest along. Thou art established upon that which emanateth from thy existence, and thou comest forth from heaven. The cord hath been coiled up for thee by the side of Ra, and thou snarest fish with the net in the stream from which thou drinkest vessels of water. Thou performest a journey on thy legs, and in going forward thou dost not stumble. Thou comest forth from over the earth, thou dost not make thy appearance from below the walls thereof. Thy walls are not thrown down, and what there is of thine within hath been made for thee by the god of thy city. Thou art pure, thou art pure. Thy fore parts are washed by libations, and thy hinder parts are cleansed with resin and natrum, and made cool with incense. Thou art made clean with the milk of the hap cow, and with the ale of the goddess Tenemet, and with natrum. All the evil which clung to thee hath been done away with, and Tapnet, the daughter of Ra, hath made offerings on thy behalf even as she did for her father Ra, and the funeral valley, which was the burial place of her father Osiris, hath been set in order for thee. I make to eat of the sweet things which he giveth there, the Osiris Nefer Uben F. Triumphant, that is to say, the celestial cakes which are before Ra, and the grain and drink, and the four terrestrial cakes, which are before the god Seb, and the grain brought by the citizens, I have brought unto thee, Seket Heteb, and the gifts thereof are before thee. Thou comest forth as Ra, thou hast gotten power as Ra, and thou hast gotten power over thy legs. And thou, O Osiris, Nefer Uben F, hast gotten power over thy legs at every season and at every hour. Thou hast not been condemned in the judgment. Thou hast not been put under restraint. A guard hath not been set over thee. Thou hast not been imprisoned. And thou hast not been given over to the chamber of the fiends therein. The sand is gathered together before thy face, and guarded are the offerings which are for thee. Thy face is not suffered to be turned back, and thou art guarded, and dost not come forth. Thou hast received thy tunic, and thy sandals, and thy stick, and thy garment, and thy weapons for fighting of all kinds, wherewith thou shalt cut off head. Thou shalt turn back the necks of thy foes, whom thou shalt take captive, and thou shalt keep away from thee death, so that it shall not come nigh unto thee. And the great God hath said concerning thee, Bring him hither on the day when events take place. The hawk 
rejoiceth in thee, and the smen goose cackleth at thee. Ra openeth for thee the doors of heaven, and Seb unbolteth for thee the earth. Thy coup is mighty, and it is perfect knowing thy name. Thy soul maketh a way through Ament, and thy perfect soul, O Nefer Uben Ep Triumphant, hath the power of speech. Thy form is within Ra, and it resteth within the divine sovereign chiefs of him who uniteth the two paths. Mankind keepeth guard over it, and the double lion god guideth it to the place where thou, O Osiris Nefer Uben Ep Triumphant, makest thy car to rest. And behold, the two lands and mankind work the snare for thee. Thou livest, thy soul is strong thy body is enduring and great thou hast sight of the fire thou dost snuff the breeze thy face doth penetrate into the house of darkness thou abidest at the gap thou dost not see the whirlwind and the storm thou followest in the train of the prince of the two lands and thou refreshest thyself on the branch of merit tree on both sides of the god ur -Hakau. The goddess Seshetet sitteth before thee. The god Sa protecteth thy members. The steer and his cow give thee milk from the breast in the following of Seket Hero. Thou washest thyself at the mouth of the stream of Ker Abba, thou art in favour with the princes of the cities of Pe and Tep. The god Thoth and thyself see each other, and Ra in heaven holdeth converse with thee. Thou comest forth from, and thou enterest into, the Anit chamber, and thou holdest converse with the two divine combatants that is, Horus and Set. Thy car is with thee to make thee to rejoice. Thy heart is with thee to give thee thy transformations. Happy, keep watch over thee. The company of the gods make thy heart glad. Thou comest forth to four cakes in the city of Sekem and four in the city of akanu thou comest forth to four in the city of anu upon the altar of the lady of the two lands the stars keep watch over thee by night the lords of anu have a favour unto thee the god who is in thy mouth thy feet are not turned back and thy members have life. Thou graspest the sand in Abtu, the sacrificial cakes of the divine chiefs, and the libations of the celestial beings are brought forward to thee, with the offerings in the festival which are due to Osiris on the morning of the Uak festival for hidden things. Thou art ornamented with objects of gold, and thine apparel is interwoven with byssus. Happy, that is, the Nile, thrusteth himself upon thy body. Thou hast power over the tablet which is inscribed with lists of offerings, and thou drinkest water on both sides of the lake of Testes. The gods who are there have a favour unto thee, and thou comest forth from heaven along with the gods who make to advance the mart of Ra, and thou art led into the presence of the company of the gods, and there is done for thee even as it is done for one of them. 
thou art the carp bird of the geese and ptah of the southern wall maketh an offering unto nefer uben f triumphant chapter one hundred and seventy from the papyrus of nefer uben f vignette this chapter is without vignette text the chapter of arranging the henkit the osiris nefer uben f saith thy flesh have i given unto thee thy bones have i fastened together for thee thy members have i collected for thee the earth submitteth itself unto thee thy limbs are guarded thou art the mighty one within the egg thou art set in order thou seest the gods thou settest out on thy way and thy hand reacheth unto the horizon and unto the holy place where thou wouldst be there is acclamation made unto thee and there are shouts of joy raised to thee at thine appearances at the altar Horus maketh thee to stand up at his risings, even as he did him who was in the chamber of holiness. Hail, Osiris, Nefer uben Av, triumphant, the goddess Ua hath given thee birth, and Ampu, Anubis, who dwelleth upon his hill, hath set thee in order, and he hath fastened for thee thy swathings. Hail, nefer uben f the god ptah sacri hath given unto thee of the ornaments of the divine house which he hath hail nefer uben f the god thoth himself cometh unto thee with the books of holy words and he maketh thy hand to reach unto the horizon even unto the place wherein thy car loveth to be and Osiris worketh for thee on the night of journeying unto life. Thy white crown established on thy brow. The god Nemu is with thee, and he giveth unto thee fine feathered fowl. Hail, Osiris Neferuban F. Triumphant, thou hast been set in order upon thy funeral couch. Thou comest forth, and Ra who was in the hidden horizon within his boat hath set thee in order hail osiris nefer uben f triumphant the god tem the father of the gods hath made for thee the things which are to endure for ever hail osiris nefer uben f triumphant the god amsu of kebdi hath set thee in order and the gods of the shrine praise thee hail osiris nefer uben f with twofold happiness thou settest out in peace to thine everlasting habitation and to thine abode of eternity homage is paid unto thee in the cities of pe and tepu in the shrine which thy car loveth and before thine abode and thou art the mighty one of souls and hath set thee in order and the gods embrace thee thou art like a god and thou hast been begotten for transformations which are more numerous and with a created form more perfect than those of the gods thou hast more light than the Kus, and thou art more mighty of souls than of those who are in them hail osiris nefer uben f ptah on his southern wall hath set thee in order and he hath made to advance thine abode more than that of the god hail osiris the amken nefer uben f thou art horus the son of isis begotten of ptah and nut hath created thee 
a being of light like unto ra in the horizon when he illumineth the two lands with his beauteous light and the gods say unto thee come forward advance now and look thou upon the things which are thine in thine abode of everlastingness the goddess renetet the heir and first-born of ten hath set thee in order in the presence of the company of the gods of nut i even i am the heir of heaven and the fellow of the god who maketh his light i have come forth from the womb and i shall grow young again even as doth my father and i shall not be prevented from making my answer in my season chapter one hundred and seventy one from the papyrus of amenhetep vignette this chapter has no vignette text the chapter of tying on the garment of purity ab o tem o shu o tapnat o sab o nut o osiris o isis o set o nephthys o herukuti hamakis o hathor in the great house o kepara o menthu the lord of thebes o amen the lord of the thrones of the two lands o great company of the gods o little company of the gods o gods and goddesses who dwell in nu o sebek of the two mate o sebek in all thy manifold names in thine every place wherein thy car hath delight o gods of the south o gods of the north o ye who are in heaven o ye who are upon earth grant ye this garment of purity to the perfect cool of Amenhetep. Grant ye your strength unto him, and destroy ye all the evil which belongeth unto Amenhetep by means of this garment of purity. Hold ye him guiltless then for ever and ever, and destroy ye all the evil which belongeth unto him. Chapter 172 From the Papyrus of Nebsene Vignette This chapter has no vignette. Text The first of the chapters of the arrangements, or praisings, which are to be performed in the underworld i snuff the bet incense i inhale the scent of hesmen natron and incense i am pure with the purity of pure are the praises which come forth from my mouth more pure than mart itself of the fish that are in the river to the statue of the temple of hesmen natron Pure are the praises of the scribe Nebsene, the designer of the house of gold, begotten of the scribe and designer Thena, triumphant, born of the lady of the house, Mut, Rastha, triumphant. And as for the scribe Nebsene, the lord of piety, who is happy with a twofold happiness, Ptah hath a favour unto him, and he of the southern wall hath a favour unto him, and every god hath a favour unto him, and every goddess hath a favour unto him. Thy beauties are a stream, bearing things which cause rest, and are like unto water which floweth nearer. Thy beauties are like a hall of festival, wherein each man may exalt his own god thy beauties are like unto the pillar of the god ptah 
and like the courtyard of incense of Ra. Neb Seneb, the scribe and designer of the temple of Ptah, hath been made a pillar of Ptah, and the libation vase of the god of the southern wall. One. Hail! Verily thou art invoked. Hail! Verily thou art invoked. Hail! Verily thou art lamented. Verily thou art praised. Verily thou art exalted. Verily thou art glorious. Verily thou art strong. Hail! Thou scribe Nebsene, thou who hast been raised up, thou art raised up by means of the ceremonies which have been performed for thee. Thine enemies have fallen, and the god Ptah hath thrown down headlong thy foes. Thou hast triumphed over them, and thou hast gained power over them. They obey thy words, and they perform that which thou orderest them to do. Thou art raised up, and thy word is a law unto the divine sovereign chiefs of every god and of every goddess. Two. Hail, verily thou art invoked. Hail, verily thou art invoked. Thy head, O my lord, is a standard with locks of rippling hair, like unto the hair of a woman of Asia. Thy face shineth more brightly than the house of the moon god. The upper part of thy head is azure in colour. Thy locks are blacker than the doors of the underworld thy hair is dark as night thy visage is decorated with an azure blue the rays of ra are upon thy face thy garments are of gold which horus hath deftly ornamented with azure blue thine eyebrows are the two sister goddesses who are at peace with each other and whom horus hath deftly ornamented with azure blue thy nose snuffeth in and thy nostrils exhale as it were the winds from heaven thine eyes look towards mount bacow of the rising sun thine eyelashes are fixed each day and the upper eyelids to which they belong are of veritable lapis lazuli the apples of thine eyes are as offerings of peace, and the lower eyelids are filled with eye-paint of mesgem. Thy tulips give unto thee law, they repeat unto thee the law of Ra, and they make to be at peace the hearts of the gods. Thy teeth are the two heads of the serpent goddess Mehem, which sport with the horus god thy tongue is made skilful thy speech is more shrill than that of the ticharu bird of the field thy jaw-bones are starry lamps thy breasts are established upon their seats and they journey unto the funeral mountain of amentet three Hail, verily thou art invoked. Hail, verily thou art invoked. Thy neck is decorated with gold, and it is girt about with refined copper. Thy gullet and throat are those of Ampu. Thy bones are the bones of the two Uach goddesses. Thy backbone is studded with gold, and is girt about with refined copper. Thy loins are those of Nephthys. Thy is a Nile, which is without water. Thy buttocks are two crystal eggs. Thy thighs are strong for walking. Thou sittest upon thy seat, and the gods give unto thee thine eyes. O scribe Nebsene, thou lord of piety. 4. Hail, verily thou art invoked. Hail, verily thou art invoked. Thy throat 
is the throat of Ampu. Thy members are plated with gold. Thy breasts are two crystal eggs, which Horus hath deftly ornamented with azure blue. Thy shoulders are made like unto crystal. Thine arms are established through the strength which protecteth them. Thy heart is glad each day. Thy breast is of the work of the two divine forms thy person adoreth the starry deities who dwell in the heights and depths of heaven thy belly is as it were the heavens thy navel is the tuat that is underworld which is open and which ordereth the light in the darkness and the offerings of which are ankum flowers. And Nebsene praiseth the majesty of Thoth, the beloved one, saying, May his beauties be in my tomb, and may all the purity which he loveth be there even as my God hath commanded for me. Five. Hail, verily thou art invoked, Hail, verily thou art invoked. Thy two hands are a pool of water in the season of an abundant inundation, a pool of water fringed about with the divine offering of the water-god. Thy thighs are encircled with gold. Thy knees are the plants of the waters where are the nests of the birds. Thy feet are established each day. Thy legs lead thee into a path of happiness o scribe nebsene thou favoured one thy hands and arms are pillars set upon their pedestals thy fingers are strips of gold the nails of which are like sharp flakes of flint by reason of the works which they perform for thee six hail verily thou art invoked hail verily thou art invoked thou clothest thyself with the garment of purity abu and behold thou drawest off from thyself the timet garment when thou goest up to stretch thyself upon the couch haunches of meat are cut for thy car o scribe nebsene and a breast or heart of the animal is offered unto thy sahu thou receivest a garment of the finest linen from the hands of the ministrant of Ra. Thou eatest the cakes upon the cloth which the goddess Tyat herself hath prepared. Thou eatest the haunch of the animal. Thou takest boldly the joint which Ra hath endowed with power in his holy place. Thou washest thy feet in the silver basins which the god Seket, the artificer, hath wrought and behold thou eatest of the cake which appeareth on the altar and which the two divine fathers have sanctified thou eatest of the baked bread and of the hot meats of the storehouse thou smellest the flowers thy heart feareth not to advance to the altar of the offerings made to thee and those who feed thee with food make for thee the loaves and bread-cakes of the souls of anu heliopolis and they themselves bear them unto thee thine offerings are ordered for thee and thy ordinances are in the gates of the great house thou risest up like sa orion thou arrivest like the star bow and the goddess nut stretcheth out her hands unto thee Sa, Orion, the son of Ra and Nut, who gave birth to the gods, the two mighty gods in heaven, speak each to the other, saying, Take the scribe and draughtsman Nebsene into thine arms, and I will take him into mine on this day, and let us make happiness for him, when praises are sung to him, and when mention is made of him, and when his name is in the mouth of all young men and maidens. Thou art raised up, O Nebsene, 
and thou hearest the songs of commemoration through the door of thy house. 7. Hail, verily thou art invoked, hail, verily thou art invoked. Anubis hath bestowed upon thee thy winding-sheet, he hath wrought for thee according to his will, he hath provided thee with the ornaments of his bandages, for he is the overseer of the great god. Thou settest out on thy way, and thou hast been washed in the lake of perfection. Thou makest offerings in the celestial mansions, and thou propitiatest the lords of Anu, Heliopolis. The water of Ra is presented unto thee in vessels, and milk in large vases. Thou art raised up, and thou makest offerings upon the altar. Thou washest thy feet upon the stone on the banks of the lake of God. Thou comest forth, and thou seest Ra upon the pillars, which are the arms of heaven, upon the head of Anmut Af, and upon the arms of Apuat. He openeth out for thee a way, and thou seest the horizon, wherein is the place of purity which thou lovest. 8. Hail, verily thou art invoked. Hail, verily thou art invoked. Offerings are allotted unto thee in the presence of Ra, and according to that which Horus and Thoth ordered for thee, thou hast had a beginning and an end. They invoke thee, O scribe Nebsene, and see thy splendour there, causing thee to come forth as a god, and to advance to the souls of Anu. Thou goest forth upon the great roads in thy sail, who hast received the offerings of thy father upon thy two hands. Thou art furnished with linen garments each day, at the beginning of the journey of the god, through the gates of the great house. 9. Hail, verily thou art invoked. Hail, verily thou art invoked. The scribe Nebsene hath air for his nose, and breath for his nostrils, and one thousand geese, and fifty baskets of pure and fair offerings. Hail, Nebsene, thine enemies have fallen down headlong, and they shall never more exist. End of chapter 42